Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to easily capture top quality gameplay footage from your game and use it to create a tutorial section for your players. With this, you can save time and effort in designing a tutorial level and your players can quickly understand the gameplay. Alright, let's get started. To begin, we need unedited gameplay footage. To do so, we can access the package manager and choose the Unity registry. Then, in the search section, input recorder to download and install the recorder package. I have already completed the step. To access the recorder window, go to the Windows menu and select General. From there, choose recorder and then select the recorder window. At the moment, a recorder has not been chosen. To record a video, we need to select movie from the Add Record drop-down menu. After that, the movie recorder settings will become available. You have the option to adjust the video resolution, which will differ from the game's actual resolution. Also, you can modify the name of the clip or its save path. To start recording the video, you can either hit the start recording button or the red play button. Once the video is recorded, everything in the game scene will be captured. To stop the recording, simply stop the game. Let's take a look at the final result. To import the video, right click and select import new asset. Once the import is finished, make sure to enable the override option for Android if you are creating a game for that platform. It's highly recommended to turn on the transcode option and click apply to save the settings. To add a video to the UI, we need to use a raw image instead of a standard one. You might wonder how they are different. The main difference is that the raw image uses textures while the other uses sprites. Also the raw images give you more control over the final result because they're not processed or compressed, while images in the Unity are optimized for real-time rendering. As I mentioned, the raw images use texture, so we need to create a new render texture. Ok, now in the inspector section, give it a custom size and choose the maximum anti-aliasing level. Ok, now we can add a texture to the raw image. To do so, we can simply drag and drop it. Once that's done, let's adjust the size so that the image is visible in the scene. At the moment, we can't see the video, so we need to add the video player component. When it comes to the video player, there are a bunch of different options to choose from, like the video source and play on awake. To make sure your video plays over and over again, you need to turn on the loop option. The last step is just adding your video footage and render texture, and making sure the render mode is set to render texture. Also, you can mute the video if you captured with the sound on. Let's start the game and watch the results. The video is playing smoothly. To make it more tutorial like, I'll add an image and a button to end the section. Also, a simple code can give it a dynamic touch.
To make sure your video plays smoothly, I'll turn off the play on awake option and use the script to access the video player component. For an even better user experience, I'll add some animation with Dotween to make the frame and button more dynamic. Then, after a short delay, your video will start playing without any interruptions. To proceed you need to include the frame and button and adjust their scale to zero. I hope you found this tutorial useful and that you will be able to implement it in your games. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons and stay tuned for more content. Thank you for your support. Thank you.